Hi, we're Lars with Latitude. I'm Mel, this is Luke, Cohen, Rory, and Josie. We've been full-time in our RV for six years now. Come take a tour. Well, welcome to the kitchen. Uh, this area is definitely heavily modified. This whole living room area really is. Um, but there's a few points I wanna make in the kitchen. Right here is Ikea, just pendant lights. And we actually found you could wire up 120 uh, volt pendant lights. And then Amazon sells the 12 volt um, light bulb. So really, if you see a nice pendant, um, you can actually install those in RVs, no problem. Um, the sink, it's a standard sink. We haven't done any modifications uh, besides actually move the whole <laughs> uh, peninsula over about two inches to make room for the refrigerator. And we just wanted more room back here. So we got to push that uh, whole peninsula over. It was actually an easier project than I thought. Coming over here, this cabinet, there used to be um, a cabinet attached to this slide that would come in and out and it was falling apart with all our boondocking that we do, all the you know, washboard roads that we're on, it was just starting to work its way out. Um, and then we had this weird funky display area here. So we actually built that whole thing out and saw new cabinet doors. Now we have pretty deep storage for glasses and water bottles, plates and bowls, uh, bread, and then some other storage that we're not even utilizing. Uh, but here's my favorite part, the espresso machine on track. So that way every morning we can have good coffee so that is a great feature. Under the sink, typical horrible storage under the sink and we're just throwing everything on there, um, cleaners, whatnots. Um, on the other side of that is the silverware and utensils. Back here we installed a, <laughs> uh, a magnet for our uh, knives. Uh, we hang them there, uh, typical RV uh, oven. We haven't done any modifications with that at all. Uh, we, do, we did install um, a spice rack that we can pull out and get to all of our spices because we try to eat in as much as possible. Microwave, typical, wish we had a converter, uh, convection microwave, and then a little bit more storage for uh, the larger uh, cutting boards um, and stuff like that. This is modified. This RV came with one of those propane R 12 volt refrigerators, family of six at the time. Um, we had all four of our kids with us, uh, just not enough room in the refrigerator for how we, we shop and how we store food. So we had to install the residential fridge. So the RV fridge was about this wide and had a small little pantry. We had to rip the pantry out. And when we did that, we were able to install the full size residential fridge. So we have 150 gallon water capacity in this rig. That's what's great about toy haulers is they do have the larger gray tanks and black tanks and water tanks. So 150 gallons, that's gonna last us roughly a week, week and a half if we're conserving water. We could probably do better, which we're always striving sometimes. Uh, but then it can also go really fast. It can last a day if we decide to do laundry out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so six years ago, we lived a really normal life in a suburb of St. Louis. We had a house um, that we thought we would live in forever. Mm -hmm. um, we had the, you know, j j typical life. We were living normal jobs. Luke worked nine to five. I had just started homeschooling the kids and stopped working my full-time job as a school social worker. And so I was about two years into that and we were ready to have Luke with us more. Uh, I think homeschooling opened our eyes to realizing that our family could be together and do more together. And we started to realize that educating our kids through experiences instead of books, well, books are great, but um, adding experience in, into the mix would be amazing and life-changing. It would uh, broaden their worldview. So we started thinking about life differently. We also were obsessed with um, the tiny house containers. <laughs> um, right. Uh, for a while and then we thought oh you know if it could have wheels <laughs> it might be perfect and of course they make these things called RVs yeah <laughs> so we're like perfect this is a half of our half our living room on this slide uh, we keep uh, the sofa slash extra bed and then the table what we did with the we did at this table is uh, just got a tabletop and did hairpin legs we put them on all four corners at first 
that is a wobbly mess inside of an RV. So actually while we were in Mexico, we went to a fabricator who actually combined the legs to a post. And that's been working much better for us for a table now. And we have foot uh, leg room. Over here is what uh, this high couch. It was built high for a purpose for storage. And then also Melissa can sit on the couch and look out these windows at these fantastic views. So we built it higher, um, but we also built it for a twin size bed. So that way, if we have company over or someone you know, just needs to sleep out here, they can. Uh, and what's great about this is this whole bed lifts up as well. So under here, we have storage for um, you know, clothing and then um, uh, pillows and blankets and whatever you wanna store. And then we actually cut off a third of the storage that's open to the rest of the air for the dog food and kitty litter so the cat can get in and out and it's halfway hidden. So we're in the other side of the living room now. This area, uh, some modifications that needed to happen. It came with a really small over the couch cabinet. We had to build that out a little bit and also delete the two doors um, that weren't very big and make one nice large door that opens by itself and we can store uh, everything we need to in here. We just went shopping, so it's full. And then also we actually took out the typical um, seats that come in an RV, uh, those fake leather seats that are always causing us problems. And we actually went with a home reserve uh, couch that you actually order online and you put together uh, yourself. And they're super lightweight and there's actually a little bit of storage underneath them as well. This bookshelf area fireplace uh, has a big story. Um, it actually, when we built, had this RV, it actually just came with some, some wood trimming. It did come with the fireplace already, um, but it had a big TV in this section and then some cabinets overhead. Uh, we went and tried to delete the TV out of the house uh, completely. And we put the bookshelf in with some, some uh, more cabinetry up top and it just wasn't working for us. And plus we really do on Friday nights, we have pizza and a movie night and we like to have that as a family. So in came the TV again. Uh, so we, now we have a TV, but the bookshelves are definitely all custom. And then we actually put some tile around here and we actually had to modify because the electrical used to be right here next to the fireplace and we actually had to reposition that over to the side. So how do we keep electricity is uh, going is we have 2000 watts of solar panels, um, you know, just all putting panels together, sizing it correctly for the wattage. And then that goes into the grow watt all in one uh, 3K system. Um, and then from there, I just picked up the battery today or yesterday and we have a, a signature solar server rack battery. That's a 5,000 uh, watt uh, lithium battery. Now going to the stairs to the rest of the areas, I wanted to stop here and mention a couple of things. You know, our typical control unit, uh, we actually have this right here, which would be the tankless hot water heater. So when you get to the bathroom, you're gonna see our bathtub. And that was really important for Melissa to have uh, a lot of hot water for her baths. Um, and then down here, we modified the stairs. There wasn't any storage underneath there. And you know, we've seen a lot of RVs have storage on the stairs, so we built our own, and now we have shoe storage. As soon as we sold the house and everything in it, and Luke took a job transfer to Houston, we found out two hours later we were pregnant with our fourth baby. Uh, great timing. So we were excited to get on the road and start moving, but we did um, move into an RV in Houston and wait until uh, Rory was born before traveling extensively. So we did a lot more Texas travel, um, traveling you know, in nearby states, and then we moved into further travel once Luke got a travel job, because that was the big kicker for us. We did not have jobs no. that could be done from anywhere. Uh, we weren't remote workers, we weren't, we had nothing. So we were brainstorming, how can we do this? How can we take our kids to see the country and actually make money while doing it? So yeah, first he took a travel job. He did that for a few years. And then this year, um, this past year actually, yep. Luke started his own thing. All right, so this is the kids room. We actually started full-time RVing with four children, and so they did not use this room. This was the master bedroom to start. So it was just a queen-size bed um, right here. Uh, we modified it about two years ago to fit our nine-year-old and 13-year-old. 
So the nine-year-old sleeps up here. Um, we have, they have like just twin mattresses on each bed so that they could put all of their like personal storage that they want, their stuffed animals and things right next to their bed. And then um, the nine-year-old gets this entire half a closet, 13-year-old gets this entire half of closet. So it works really well because my kids don't spend a lot of time in their room. They mostly just sleep in here and wind down. So um, they didn't really need a big sleeping space. This is where my five-year-old keeps his clothes and some of his toys. And then they keep board games and card games in these drawers. We also have a washer and dryer. So that's been really nice when we first started RVing. I was cloth diapering our youngest and I said, I have to have a washer on board my RV, it's a priority. So I'm super happy about that. We actually can be off grid using solar and running our washing machine. Um, so that's been great too. And this is just more game storage for like bigger board games. All right, so this is our bathroom. We actually have a bathtub, which is unheard of in RVs, but we are super grateful we have it. I um, would miss that. I, I do miss having a big, huge soaking tub from a real house, but this one suits just as good. I can take a bath. The kids can take baths, um, but it also has a shower. So that's been really nice. Um, we have these little um, towel racks from Ikea and they, we, we put them right here on purpose so that they could swing over into the, the tub and hang swimsuits or towels or anything and the skylight helps dry them. We also have uh, plants in here and this is basically just the original vanity for the bathroom and we just put all of our toiletries and bathroom supplies in there. We do have a toilet in here. It's been upgraded to a porcelain one. The plastic ones that came with it just didn't last very long. It has a foot flush pedal and it just um, goes down into the black tank. And we actually have a pretty significant size black tank due to our toy hauler. Um, so that's been really helpful for boondocking. We can go about two weeks boondocking without having to dump the black tank. When I was a professional, I was in environmental health and safety. I noticed that there was definitely a need for um, you know people with experience in recruiting for those positions. So I started my own environmental health and safety recruiting company, and you know been pretty successful so far. We've got some pretty good clients in, and it's definitely uh, funding our lives uh, for the past year. Yeah, we were excited to find something that we could do from anywhere just because we want to continue traveling for yeah. as long as we possibly can. As, so. long, as long as we have cell phone service or internet service, and we definitely have internet service now that we have Starlink and Starlink's went, um, uh, what's the word? Roaming. Roaming. <laughs> so now we're in you know, Baja with you know, 300 megabytes per second download speeds. So, um, and we can work anywhere we need to. From any, any beach. Any yeah. beach. All the beaches that we didn't get service at last year. So we're pretty excited about that. All right, so we're gonna head back into the master bedroom, but first I'd like to show you some modifications we did to add some pantry storage here in our kitchen. So uh, Luke, this actually used to be a sliding glass door, which really wasn't serving any purpose for us besides kind of a sound barrier between rooms. Um, and so we had to have a curtain in front of it and there was no use. So he took the sliding glass door out and we built a cabinet here in its place. And it's one of my favorite cabinets, it's super cool. Um, so we have like actual pantry stuff and I actually had a hard time vi envisioning that there would be enough space here with just a sliding glass door, but there's so much we can fit, you know, all of our fruit baskets. This is just kombucha I'm making and then our whole KitchenAid mixer and our air fryer down here can fit really nice and deep into there. So that's been super nice. And then we have this little um, cabinet so in toy haulers oftentimes there's a loft right here but there wasn't so there's just like this empty space where a ladder would typically go and so he just kind of cut into that and we have now we have can good storage and the cool thing is he added these magnets to the door they're really strong magnets so it kind of keeps it it keeps it closed whenever we're moving so that's super nice and this also was just kind of rounded and it was open and stuff would fall out when we were moving. Um, and now we have added storage and it goes all the way to the side of the RV. So it's super deep. All right, come on back to the master. 
Okay, so this was um, originally just a garage. Toy haulers are typically used to haul motorcycles, four-wheelers, and other toys. Uh, we knew as soon as we bought it that we would be modifying this room for kids. So actually, it used to be our kids' room. We had a twin bunk in here, and we have a loft bed, and it worked really great. Um, however, it was a lot of space that the kids just weren't using during the day. They're, usu they're usually in the main room with us or outside playing, so um, it was not utilized space. So that's when we had the idea to switch the kids to the master and then make this our room, which could also double as an office during the day because we have a happy jack like bed that goes up and this becomes a whole extended living space. This also provides another spot for people who need quiet space or space away from each other during the day because when you're living tiny, sometimes that's an issue. Another thing that we love about our RV is our back deck. Um, views for days whenever you put it down. Right now we have expansive views of the Sea of Cortez and we also um, can just sit out there and enjoy the views. And we actually, because this isn't the kids' room, it's our room, we leave this down all night in good weather. So since we've been in Baja, it's basically been down all day, every day, and through the night, and we've just been listening to the waves crash while we sleep. I think I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping when we leave here, because I'm so used to the, the sound of the waves. All right, so we also love having two bathrooms. I actually thought when we moved into an RV, we would only have one bathroom but I was excited to see that we had two because with six people, there's always people that have to use the restroom at the same time. So it's super nice. We also have just a regular toilet in here and it has its own separate um, black tank that it feeds into, um, which helps us extend that boondocking time and camping off grid. We completely modified this room as well, um, just like the rest of the RV, added some wallpaper and some shelves in here, but otherwise it's, um, you know, got the same size cabinetry as original. I do um, our Instagram on the road um, and a, we have a, a YouTube channel and a blog as well. Um, you can find us at Lars with Latitude, that's L-A-H-R-S. Uh, with latitude, um, there are periods between each word. <laughs> and we're starting to become videographers. So. <laughs> Thanks for coming along and checking out all the um, remodels and, and things that we've done to our RV. It's a special place for us. It's our favorite home we've ever had. We lived in a few, but none of them have had wheels and taken us to so many beautiful places. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.